Have you ever been with somebody who had a full Brazilian? I have not. I mean, clean shaven's pretty standard. It's great. I'm, I'm sure it is, but like clean shaven's getting the job done too. It's a different it ballpark. It is different. <laughs> because it's like, it's like a slip and slide up in there. My name is Anjali and I am a model. What type of model? I do like print, Xbox, Nike, Adidas. Do you ever model underwear? Yeah. In that type of situation, do you have to like think about your pubic hair? Well, absolutely. I never go to a job like being Chewbacca, like I'm shaving my entire body, waxing everything. Why? I'm not somebody who likes extra hair. This makes me nervous, like what am I guessing? Um, <laughs> like... You're going to guess what people's pubic hair looks like. Oh my god! We're gonna bring first person in. Hi. Hi. How I'm, are you? I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm Anjali. Nice to meet you. What is your preference in partners? Men, but I'm bi-curious. Okay. So. Do you have any religious beliefs and does your family have any religious beliefs? Yeah, um, my family's not religious, but I'm Christian. So. Yeah, I know that's not usually how it goes. No, it's usually the opposite. Yeah. yeah. yeah I feel like you have some hair. Maybe it's like trimmed low, like the triangle-y, but it's not like a bush. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the martini. Yeah. So I like shave like my thighs and then I kind of trim it. Good job, man. Mm -hmm. How did you know? You have this like innocence to you, but also you kind of like a free spirit at the same time. So I didn't think that it was going to be bare nothing mm -hmm. or just like a huge bush. Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice, nice meeting, meeting you. you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What do you do for a living? Well, I, you know, model for uh, drawing, painting, and sculpture classes, and like nude. Yeah. Yes. She's a free spirit. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> I think you just let it go. It's a bush. No, I get Brazilian waxes. Why? Somebody was was teaching a workshop on cunnilingus. Oh. Yeah, and oh. she was waxed, and she just had nothing but good to say about it and thought, huh, I should, I should give that a try. Yeah. Yeah, well, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> All right. Hopefully I see you in a paint and sip one day. <laughs> yeah, really. Hi. Hi. I'm Connor. Nice to meet you, I'm Anjali. He has a bush. <laughs> that quick? Yeah. The beard, the hair, he's a hairy guy. That is very, I like stereotyping actually. Oh God, I, is I it? Think you're, you're kind of stereotyping me. I'm not saying you're wrong yet, but. How does that make you feel, Connor? It's assumed, I, I get it. I know that that's my look. So it's definitely not a full bush. Like I, I do I do have a lot of hair and it can definitely get so there. So it's probably like your beard. It can be, yeah. It flows with my body lines gotcha. to some extent. Gotcha, that gotcha, makes gotcha, it more gotcha. natural. Are you one of the guys that like <laughs> trim this part, but the balls are hairy, or is no, it the no, no, whole? no, no, no? I like it all. I like it cleaned up. For okay, because sure. it's like when it gets sweaty. I, it's exactly. Just, I, I'm a hairy dude. I know. It, like it's disgusting. The sweat's the the reason why I Got maintain it. it. Hi. Hello. What do you do for a living? I slice sandwich meat. Ooh. When did you first feel like you needed to start shaving? When I was like. 16, I guess, when I really started to actually grow hair, I kind of didn't really like the way that it felt. I understand. Did any like partners have any play with no. that? No. Okay. Like, I've never had anybody be like, I would like this this way. I've right. only done it because one, it was uncomfortable for me. Definitely. Or two, I wanted to be cute. I think that you let it do its all natural. No. You wax it? No. You shave it. You laser. I, sh I shave it. I do shave it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I like to make sure that it's just one little tiny area. Called a soul patch. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I call it. Because everybody knows what that looks like. They do. Hey, Jasmine girl. Hey, what's up? Do you two know each other? She's my cousin's ex girlfriend. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Brazilian? No, she has a landing strip. She has a landing strip. No, 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 you have a Brazilian. You have a Brazilian. I have a landing strip. You were, I know. <laughs> I feel like people do feel like I present as like a Brazilian type of girl. What is that presentation? Um, bad bitch, bougie, beautiful. <laughs> do you remember the first time you felt like you needed to shave? It was right when I first started to hit puberty because I grew up dancing. When you're wearing all these like tights and leotards, you can see everything. You and you're like a little girl. So you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. At that age, I remember I wasn't shaving it the right way. <laughs> and it was just a disaster. Yeah. 
Hi. Hello. I'm looking at the symmetricalness of your eyebrows and I'm thinking that you like it, like the edges nice and crisp. <laughs> you have a triangle. I don't really do anything with my hair, it's full bush. When you're wearing a swimsuit, what do you do? Nothing. It does poke out, but I just, if people have an issue with it, then they have an issue with it. Do you have any discomfort, like people like seeing your pubic hair? Yeah, probably. Like it's like mm -hmm. one of those things that was like put on to you when you were younger, because mm -hmm. I was a yeah. competitive swimmer. So we oh, had okay. swimsuits all the time. Yeah. So as soon as you started growing hair, it's like, what's going on here? I've also never been embarrassed of my hair. like. I've had hairy arms, you know, unibrow in like middle school, everything like that. I love that. If you did use this mm -hmm. razor, mm -hmm. how would you use it? Um, let's see, I would go from the bottom, grab everything and go from the bottom and get in there. Mm -hmm. There would be there would be some movement up up here as well. So, he has like, nothing. He just... No, it is not that. So basically I will, you know, take like clippers uh -huh. and, and without a guard and kind of just like grab the hair and like just kind of like thin it down. Okay. So it's not so bulbous. Yeah. Uh, and then in the shower I'll do like the balls uh, because hairy balls are... Disgust. Not Exactly, that's, yeah. Thank you. I'm <laughs> glad somebody else besides me said it. <laughs> nice meeting you. And you as well. How was that experience for you? It was very eye-opening because I judge people based off what they look like. It makes me think outside of the box. Anjali, what should people do with their pubic hair? Whatever they want to do. Like, it's their decision. Are you ashamed of your pubic hair? No. 